Hi there, I'm Cody Mack here in the lab at Caleffi's North American headquarters in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, bringing you this week's tech tip on air vent caps. These first three air vent caps are going to be an open and closed style air vent cap. Very straightforward. When you're putting these air vent caps on, you're going to thread it onto the air vent and fully seated is going to be the closed position. This position will not allow the air vent to work properly. It will close it off. Your air will not vent through the vent cap. You're going to back it off about a half a turn and the air vent will be allowed to work properly and vent the air as it needed. This next air vent is going to be our anti-suction air vent cap and it is what I refer to as our band-aid cap. It is used in cases where maybe an air vent was improperly placed, maybe on the suction side of a high head pump. It is actually comprised of two separate pieces. One is going to be our standard air vent cap and the other one is going to be the anti-suction portion of it. It allows air to vent out of the cap, but it doesn't allow air to come back into the cap. In places where you're going to have a possible suction on your air vent, you could be letting in unwanted air into your system as opposed to the air being let out of your system. This last air vent cap is going to be our hygroscopic air vent cap. And when I say hygroscopic, you're going to think about a sponge because this vent cap is, is included with a lot of our manifolds and it's a cap you're going to want to use where water dripping out of an air vent cap is going to be unwanted. When you put this air vent cap on, you're going to thread it down all the way to where it's fully seated. But even in the fully seated position, it will allow air to vent. Inside of this air vent cap, there is some hygroscopic wafers in there. When those hygroscopic wafers see water, they swell up and it actually seals off the vent cap opening or the vent opening so that water cannot escape. But as they dry out again, it will allow air to escape and allow the vent to operate as normal. Thanks for listening to this week's Tech Tip. Stay tuned next week for another Tech Tip.